In this video, we will use Simpson's rule to approximate the integral from 1 to 3 of the square root of x to the third minus 1 dx. Some integrals, such as this one, simply cannot be integrated using the basic integration rules. However, Simpson's rule can provide a fairly accurate approximation of the value of the integral. Let's begin. Simpson's rule states that the integral from a to b of f of x dx is approximately equal to b minus a over 3n times this big quantity. Now Simpson's rule is not as hard to apply as it looks. I discuss Simpson's rule in more detail in another video. The important thing to remember when applying Simpson's rule is that the value of n, which shows up in the formula, is a measure of how accurate you would like to be when approximating the integral. You can choose any value you want for n so long as it is even and realize that the larger value of n you choose the more accurate your approximation will be however the more work that you'll have to do to get to that approximation. In this problem we're being asked to use n equals 4. So applying Simpson's rule means the integral from 1 to 3 of the square root of x to the third minus 1 dx is approximately equal to, well, the leading coefficient in front of the brackets, b minus a, in this case, is 3 minus 1, all over 3n. Our value of n is 4, so it's over 3 times 4. Now, inside the brackets, since we are letting n equal 4, there will be five terms added together. Now, if we had let n equal 6, there would be seven terms. Inside the brackets, when using Simpson's rule, there is always one more term than the value of n. Again, in this case, we're letting n equal 4, so there are five terms. The first and the last term are the easiest. The first term is going to be f of the lower bound, and the last term will be f of the upper bound. In this case, that will be f of 1 at the beginning and f of 3 at the end. The three terms in the middle are going to have coefficients which alternate between 4 and 2. The second coefficient will be a 4. The third term will have a coefficient of 2. And the fourth term will have a coefficient of 4. If we had, if we had let n equal more than something that was 4, these coefficients would alternate between 4 and 2 and 4 and 2, and the next to the last term will always be a 4 before the final term. Now we're going to be evaluating the square root of x to the third minus 1 at some different values in the middle of these brackets. And what we're going to do is we're going to break apart the distance from 1 to 3 into four equal pieces. So what you're going to think about is that from x equals 1 to x equals 3, there are two units and we are dividing those two units into four equal pieces. Each piece, each interval, will be one half unit wide. So if we're starting at f of one and we're ending at f of three and each of these terms differs by one half, the second term will be 1.5 and the third term will be two and then I'll increase that by 0.5 to get to 2.5 and then that increased by a half is 3. So this expression represents an approximation for the integral from 1 to 3 of the square root of x to the third minus 1 dx with Simpson's rule having n equals 4. Let's evaluate this expression to find our approximation. At this point I'll say the hard work is done and now we'll grab our calculator and evaluate the expression. First, 3 minus 1 over 3 times 4. 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 times 4 is 12 times the quantity of. Well, f of 1 here, that's going to be substituting a 1 into the expression, the square root of x to the third minus 1, plus 4, don't forget about the coefficients, 4 times the square root of 1.5 to the third minus 1. And then our coefficient will be a 2 when we evaluate f of 2. 
It's the square root of 2 to the third minus 1. Our next to the last term is 4 times the square root of 2.5 to the third minus 1. And the final term, f of 3, there's not a coefficient in front of the first or the last term, is just the square root of 3 to the third minus 1. 2 twelfths in lowest terms is 1 sixth. And then the result of the square root of 1 to the third minus 1 will be the square root of 0. 1 to the third is 1 minus 1 is 0. Plus 4 times 1.5 to the third minus 1 is 2.375. The third term, 2 to the third minus 1, is 7, plus 4 times the square root of 14.625, plus the square root of 26. 3 to the third is 27, minus 1 is 26. Now this is the last point in this problem where uh, we won't have to write an approximation. And depending on the context of the problem or the directions, you can approximate to uh, however precise you want to be. In this case, I've written out the answer to five decimal places, the square root of 3 plus 4 times the square root of 2.375 and so on is approximately equal to 31.85199. When I take that number and multiply it by 1 sixth, I get an approximation for the integral from 1 to 3 of the square root of x to the third minus 1 using Simpson's rule with n equals 4. It is 5.3087.